Hey guys, I kind of just want to do an informal video today and just going over the different types of issues you might have with strawberries when you're growing them. Uh, yeah, as you can see, one of these does not look like the other. Uh, this one had a plant shock issue. So it went dry because I, I forgot to change the water before it ran out. So it went a little dry, then I add some water and it didn't do respond too well. So I added some water, as you can see down here, the roots not look very healthy okay these are mostly dead roots so I doubt that it's from root rot bacteria is called pythopathoria it's a, a pathogen but it kind of acts like a fungus and so that <clears throat> uh, pythopathorius comes from the Greek which is plant destroyer Normally, this bacteria lives in a high, humid, low oxygen environment. However, as you can see, I have air bubblers going. So although it does high humidity, that air bubbler continually keeps moving the water and the uh, adding oxygen continually. So, And plus, I add uh, a, a root inoculant to kill the most of the bacteria called HydroGuard. And so right away I was able to eliminate there being a bacterial problem. And so I think it just got shocked from being dry for a minute. And then when I added water to it, it might've got shocked some more and it, this is just how it responded. Um, now we'll go on to uh, regular kind of roots, like right here. Now these aren't as healthy looking as, as young ones but this is a lot of this is root staining uh nutrient staining right so when you add a lot of nutrients you can see the water that's the color of the nutrients and so that will stain your roots over time as you can see i'll show you a, a young plant uh in in a minute but this is normal this is absolutely perfectly healthy plant you can see up here is healthy and it's it's got fruit on there as you can see it's got it's got fruit it's healthy same thing over here you can see lots this one's got lots of fruit as you can see all very healthy fruit right perfectly healthy plant yeah a lot of root uh, staining of the nutrients uh it's to, to kind of Avoid a lot of nutrient staining. Sometimes I just refill it with water instead of more nutrients to give the, you know, the plants a little break and uh, maybe rinse the roots off a little bit, but it's, it's not really that big of a deal. So as long as you kind of can suspect, it's like not only do the roots have to look bad, but the plant also has to show an issue like this one. As you can see, the, the tips are crispy. And so most of these leaves are gonna die, but this plant may yet survive because if you look underneath, you could see that there are new roots coming out. So hopefully these new roots will replace all these dead roots. Like these dead roots will never live again. They'll all die and then they'll go to the bottom. As you can see, there's some roots down there already. Um, that's why I like to keep adults separately, adult plants separately. As you can see, all these are in separate containers. That's because if there is an issue with one plant and they won't affect all the plants. Now, like I said, I was able to rule out bacteria being the reason why this happened, but that doesn't mean that as the root die off and rot and then get to the bottom of the container, that rotting roots wouldn't affect the other plants. And so I like to keep them separate. Great plant. This was my biggest strawberry plant, but I guess, you know, it wasn't able to handle the shock of running out of water. That's one major negative in hydroponics is that as soon as your container runs dry of water, it's instant death to your plants. Like in, in potted soil, there's always that micro little bit of, of moist nutrient in the in the water so it could go like in the in the soil so it can go a long time without needing water. But as soon as there's zero water on this and it's dry, your plants will immediately Kind of like, that's how transpiration works, is that uh, the roots need constant water because 
Imagine water as being the blood of the plant. That's how stuff gets around the plant. Even you can see here how it's dying, how it's dying on the edges first and then going inward. So pretty much stuff goes in the blood or the water, goes in through the roots, up to the leaves, and then out usually the back of the, of the leaf. But as you can see, the roots are dying. It's not getting enough water. And so these are all dying from the edges inward. So anyways, I hope that helps somebody. It's all fundamentals of plant growing and uh, right. So let's go over to the young plants now. Okay, here we have young plants. These are made from runners of those plants over on the other side. Those adult plants send out runners. And then these are the children of the runners. So they're maybe about uh, two months old. Yeah, we'll say two months. I don't, I used to keep track of everything all on spreadsheets and stuff, but I just don't have time for that. Um, so this is what young roots look like. As you can see, they're almost bleached white. These are perfectly healthy ones. So this one's a little bit dark, but nothing wrong. Like I said, you look at the roots, you see the very tips are, are bleached white. And then you look at the plant. Normally the leaves are the main place where you're gonna find issues. And a normal, healthy strawberry leaf is nice, full and green. You gotta look at the tips. Sometimes on the edges might be red and that might indicate a problem. It might not, it depends. You just gotta kinda keep an eye on it. Um, as you can see, you're, you're giving the proper nutrients of the plant if, if the tips all the way have that little point on the end, very healthy leaves, you know, just kind of giving you an example. You know, leaves are the most important part of the plant because that's where it creates its sugar. So you're always keeping an eye on the leaves when you come through. But again, there's a air bubbler over there. And I also have this little pump to add the humidity because the, the water level is so low that I kind of wanted to evaporate some of the stuff and make it high humid in there. So it's kind of like, you can see over here that uh, even at the very top, there's some water. And so if you keep it humid, then all, even the rock will stay moist and the roots will grow downwards. I've noticed that if you let the rock real cube dry out and the roots aren't fully established as an adult, then there'll be a very thin spindly uh, upper part and then a thick foil at the bottom. It's kind of weird. Uh, maybe this one might be like it. Hard to, hard to show you an example. I had an example, but I pretty much had to regrow the, the roots from scratch because it was like this one string of root and then a big thick ball at the bottom and it was just not growing right. So this is what young adults, these have not been nutrient stained yet because they haven't been in nutrient long enough, but eventually these roots will probably turn a darker color. So hopefully that helps you grow your strawberries. We love healthy, happy strawberries. Um, usually with the young plants, I, I, I usually pluck the flowers because I want them to grow, focus on growing. And then once they become adults, then I let them flower and stuff like that. So this just speeds up the time. They'll, they'll focus on becoming a bigger plant, adult plant. Then I can put them in their own container and like I said, you don't always have to keep them in separate containers from birth to uh, adult plants, but usually in long-term adult plants, I usually keep them in separate containers. Alrighty, well, I hope I helped somebody out and help them grow their strawberries. And uh, if you have any questions, oh, you can always ask me below in the comments. I answer all questions. Thank you, have a good day, bye-bye.